Okay, I'm GeoDav and in this video what we're going to do is use GIMP which is GNU Image Multiply Manipulation Program which is a free program and we're going to manipulate a couple of our textures to put into a single texture. Now I know the majority of you people will be using uh, Photoshop. Lovely program. Sorry, but I don't have the thousands of books required to uh, to use it. So, <coughs> excuse me. We'll just stick with GIMP. All right. So, what do we want to do? Well, first thing I want to show is. Uh, about okay I am using GIMP 2.88 so if yours doesn't look like this not a lot I can do about it so right what we're going to do next next what we're going to do is let's see should I get that uh, no Let's see if I can open up some of my recent ones. Here we go. Uh, Land T Landry Antenna 02 MTGA. Now you might think, uh, I sort of like recognise that. Well, the reason why you might recognise it is because it looks like that. And you're going to go, uh, or even better, even better, I just noticed it's still there. No, we don't want to go to Malcolm. Uh, T Landry Hatch M T G A. And you go, uh, hang on a minute. Does that look sim similar to something that you was uh, looking at earlier in a, another video? Actually, yes. Now, I just want to do this, show you these two because GIMP can be a little bit, well, I suppose like blender in a way, quirky when dealing with things. So if you're used to Photoshop and you load this image into GIMP and you're like, ah, something's wrong because you probably think it's going to look like this. Now, why Please don't ask. I am not a programming technician. I am not a graphics artist. I'm just Mr. Hobby Guy who enjoys things along these lines. So let's just have a quick look at what we look, well, try to explain what we might be looking at here. Okay. So once you, once you get your head around using GIMP, it's no harder than uh, Photoshop or maybe a little bit more complex as uh, MS Paint but hey you can't have everything you gotta learn sometime so what we're actually doing within the masks is instead of painting directly onto the layer we are using the chip what the what are called the channels now the channels here Right, if you hold it on there it will say channels and you've got red green and blue now if you're dealing with textures or anything towards 3d or any sort of content creation you will have come across the term rgb which is red green and blue which are the channels so basically what they've done here with the use within unreal engine because basically all you're wanting to do is control the layers within the material. Now whether you've got the metal layer, I suppose in a way you could think about if you've got any knowledge of a car, how that is painted. you got to sort of like imagine at the very bottom you've got the bare metal. And at the very top, you've got the nice shiny coat. And in the middle, you've got the primer. 
So if you just lightly scratch the top surface of the paint, now say you've got a lovely red car. If you scratch the top off of the paint, you will see the grey primer underneath. And if you scratch even further down, you will actually see the metal of the car. Now, the way I believe it works in Unreal Engine is, is a bit sort of like upside down. But uh, we'll get to that eventually. So, what we want to do here is just ha have a look. Uh, uh, that one's not doesn't actually show it the way I want. Here in the icons, you can see it a lot better. So let's. Uh, why is it this one that shows it better? Uh, quite possible. Right, and because we've got the alpha initiated, you can actually see it in the a little bit better. Is it like, no. It did work the other day, but then again, the same as everything else. When I try, it doesn't do what I want when it when I want it to. So, because basically, what I'm wanting to see is this as a grey scale, because that's all it is. When it when it's in red, you can barely see it up here. It's just sort of like black and white, but here it's showing for some reason the uh, let's see the full output instead of just showing the uh, the layer now if I turn this is one of the the problems with GIMP it doesn't like that um, let's try that and that's again showing red up here for some reason it's, it's probably something I, I've not set correctly which is quite possible yeah uh, you can see it in the green colour, or if we go into the blue, that's a blue. That should really be shown in as a grey scale, which is what it is here. But we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, I just wanted to show to show you these channels on a finished item. He says. All right, so did I close that off here? Did. Oh no, wrong. And here we go again. I do apologise for that. It can get a bit, well, like I say, quirky. So, what we're going to do is I'm not going to create a new one. I am going to go and grab it's down there somewhere. Let's say uh, mask red. Bing, there we go. That's a red mask. Now, if we see that there, you like that? Yeah, smashing, happy, great, smack, lovely. Uh, you go into this bit and it's like, that. yeah, but it's in the red channel, it's in the green channel, and it's in the blue channel, and that's not what we want. Correct, it's not. So we're going to go open and. What? No, that's recently used. Uh, no, it's. Let's see. Geo. Downloads. Lots and lots of junk. Blender help. There we go. Um, let's see. This time we want the green one. So let's just open that as a separate one. Now what we want to do is get this information here into there but on the green channel. So there I'm going to switch off that and I'm going to hope this is going to work properly. <laughs> yeah. right. Marquee select, right click, edit, copy. Go back over here. With the make sure we have the green channel selected at showing blue or what have you got it as edit paste. You like yay worked fantastic until you go back up here 
and you see this funny little thing saying floating selection pasted layer and you can do absolutely nothing with it but if you go out here away from the actual texture you see this little anchor so what we want to go on right click over there and anchor layer now you can't see it there so we'll just go pop in like yay look at that it's worked so what we're going to do is be really really flash go open uh, I did have a mask blue no that's a blue mask uh, mask blue there we go that was our ambient occlusion so I'm going to go open that probably don't have to do that but uh, edit or right click edit copy go back to our first image go to the channels switch off red switch off green select blue right click edit paste and now go back here into the main layers mode floating channel right click anchor so that now I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to switch close without saving so we've just got the, the original and if I switch that on it looks all pretty and Gucci and uh, yuck and we're done fantastic now the one thing that I wanted to uh, new channel uh, I will leave it at that for the moment <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll try that on later but uh, what we're going to do is export because if you try and save at the moment all right, it will say try to save as a XCF format file which is about as much use as a chocolate fire guard so, so cancel that what we want to do is go to export now I'm just going to export as a PNG you can Oh, what I'll, I'll change the name there because I don't want mask red. So what, what did they use? Uh, box mask. Okay, so we'll go T Geo box underscore M. I'm going to go really flashy. I'm going to change it from a PNG to a TGA and you get the TGA compression yeah export that like that I'm happy okay so in the next video what we're going to do is import this one into Unreal Engine well Unreal Tournament version of Unreal Engine and see what it looks like okay so see you in a minute